Good morning. <clears throat> Check out this house here. This is a bitchin' house. I was looking at this house yesterday. Not that I would buy it, but boy, it's sure a cool beach house, eh? So big, I could have all you guys come hang out with me. Hello, me. How are you guys this morning? Off to a good start. Ozzy, Ozzy. Love Australia. <coughs> cool pad, huh? Hell yeah. So I hope you guys are ready for the day. Get out there and kick some ass. Yesterday was a big historic day for our nation here. I don't know if it shows how progressive we are or how far behind we are. So many other nations have females as leaders. I just hope that if Hillary becomes our president that she does a great job. Pray for our leaders and Looking for somebody with some real balls to try and get the world back to it being a peaceful place. Really, where did we meet? Yeah, well, we don't know yet. We hope. I have to be open-minded about this because my business is run by uh, liberal people. No, those are rocks, dude. See, those are rocks. So I have to be open-minded about it. Um, you know, I uh, actually voted for her husband. And um, I'm a really positive thinker. I think that... <clears throat> You know, if you love something, you can definitely make it better. You want to put your time into it, and you're willing to make sacrifices. I know, rock does suck ass, huh? It's just really weird because it reminds me of um, the desert when we lived in Arizona. And uh, now this is cool, but... The thing is, these are rental properties down here by the beach, and, and people, when they leave, you know, who wants to play, pay a bunch of money for landscaping and stuff? It's just a rental property. Yeah, I hate thongs, too. Um, the thong sandals, flip-flops is what I call them. They do hurt between my toes. Yesterday, I was walking with Pam, and we were going for a walk at night. A little romantic one-on-one -on -one time with my baby. And uh, I had to stop after a while because just, you know, I mean, I don't wear sandals all the time, so <clears throat> it's kind of lame walking around the beach in high tops or sneakers. I just want to tell you guys how much I love you this morning, how grateful I am for all of you. I get to spend my life talking with you. Watching little wooden dog shit on the grass. Well, I'm not going to say that. Where Hillary belongs anywhere or not. I think that... <laughs> no one. Not in a bathrobe. I'm quite decked out in my beach attire. But, uh, just... Want you guys to have a nice day with me down at the beach. I do live in, well, I have a, my estate's in Fallbrook, but our, our farm is in Tennessee, and that's where we moved because Electra is uh, pursuing a country career. She's really good at it, too. Yep, it's not a hat, it's a beanie. If you're Canadian, it's called a toque. And the good thing about this is I can tuck my hair up inside it if it's dirty or if I don't want people to recognize me, but. It's funny, it never works. 
Cheech. <laughs> I love Cheech and Chong. It's one of my favorite comedians. I saw that uh, Tommy Chong was following me and I tried doing a direct message with him and it was some dude running his account and it's like, I don't know man, if you have one of these accounts and you have someone else doing it, it's kind of a, it's kind of lame I think. People think they're talking to you and it ain't you and you got some other knob making comments on your behalf. The last thing I want is somebody representing me and somebody says something mean or unkind and me not barbecuing them or somebody saying yeah I do sir or somebody being really nice and me not telling them that it was nice of them to say something that was positive and uplifting for people Oh, Metallica, boy, that's really cool. That doesn't bother me at all. I hope you know that. It just makes you look like a twat because you're trying to piss me off and it doesn't piss me off. I get paychecks from them and you have to pay, so there you go, boner. I like Australia beaches. They're really cool. It's amazing how the... Uh, I'm not going to block him. I think he's, you know, has to live with himself. But every time he looks in the mirror, he's got a giant asshole on top of his shoulder. So, I guess that's enough payback. Yeah, I think seafood down in Australia, too, is amazing. And Morton Bay bugs. I never thought I would eat a bug. And we went to uh, Doyle's. Yeah, we went to Bon Scott's. Um, I didn't make Metallica what they are, but I had. Um, I went to Bon Scott's grave. It was very, very sad. I loved him so much. I don't know about Metallica's album names, I think that uh, you need to ask them. He did too, yeah, Purple Grey. Oh shit, that's cold. <laughs> Ooh, doggy, that shit woke me up. <laughs> so tell me where you guys are at. What's everybody doing? Hello, Mexico. I can drive me in. There's no way. San Fernando. That's my father-in-law doing? I don't know. I do not know. I know that he's refusing to take his medicine. That's Mr. Dave. I don't know. I think he's all right. This guy is so beautiful. Mount wow, Laurel, I hear it's nice there.
so many beautiful places to go in the world. I've been so fortunate with you guys. Saw some guy on my Twitter feed this morning saying that I can barely fill clubs and I was thinking, oh boy. I had to get up real early to be that dumb. I do miss those guys, they're my best pals. We have an amazing band right now. And Chris Adler was so good to introduce us to Dirk. He's just been such a good friend to the band. I've been to Portugal. My favorite place in Portugal is Cascais. Is that how you say it, Cascais? Is that how you say it? Cascais? Uh, yeah, those are trash cans. Maybe you've seen them before. <laughs> I'm not gonna go swimming, that water's frigid. I was dipping in a little bit yesterday during the middle of the day when the sun was at its peak and it was still too cold for me. Am I in martial arts? I've been studying uh, since I was 12. I have a black belt in Yukito Khan, one in Songham Taekwondo, and one in World Taekwondo. I have a fourth degree and two first degrees. I love Gary Holt. I think he's a wonderful guitar player and a, and a really terrific friend. He's always been good to me and we have a friendship that endures like Scotty and I actually have known Gary longer than I've known Scott. Two really terrific men. You could learn so much about guitar from both of them. No, 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 no. I don't I don't fight anymore. I am a champion for peace. I dedicate all my time to trying to love on you guys and to help you. There's nothing worse than people walking around with a chip on their shoulder. Oh, I bought it all right. I believe that we can be peaceful. It's so easy to be nice to people. But, uh, oh, fuck these sandals, these hurt. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I was on the boardwalk. We used to stay down in Ocean City on the boardwalk a lot, and um, I do like candy. I think candy helps you thrash. I bought a bunch of candy there the first day we went there. I bought some sugar babies and some pop rocks and uh, bought some banana flavored taffy. <laughs> what else did I get? I think that was it. The coolest place I've ever been to? Home. I did see the picture of gay metal. I thought it was funny. That guy went to a lot of effort to look like Carrie. You know, anybody could put on a Vic uh, mask. You know, uh, you can't be intolerant to sexual orientation in metal and be a Judas Priest fan. I love Rob, I think he's an amazing talent and his uh, Choices for his partners don't affect me or how I feel about him at all. Rob is a legend. The coolest place I've ever been to, like I said, is walking through my front door after a tour, seeing my family. Eddie Mercury? Is that Freddie's brother? I went to Manco and Manco's Pizza. I don't know if Mac and Manco's the same thing. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna take that bike. It's my color. I need a basket too. What do you think? They showed Vic doing a blowjob. Well, 
guess <laughs> guess we finally know what Vic's about, huh? I remember the guy that was the best man at my wedding, the guy that helped David Elson get off heroin, um, told us when he was in prison some stories that were just gnarly. Am I a Springsteen guy? Well, I can represent his, um, I, I can appreciate his music and his talent, but uh, I'm not really a, a fan of the music. It's a little bit too, uh, I don't know, maybe rock and roll -y for me. No, he didn't break his ankle, he broke his foot. He broke his foot. It was a bummer. I watched him fall down, and he hit the ground pretty hard, and he didn't move. And I thought, oh, my God, what happened? You know, it's uh, kind of sad. You see your friends get hurt. Especially Dave, man. He's such a good dude. Am I classically inspired? Uh, I'm inspired. I like classical music, but I'm certainly not... Uh, Influenced by them. Yeah, Dave's pretty pretty open-minded about it. He he kind of went into shock that night. So I think that happens when you break a bone. You kind of kind of flip out a little bit. I know I've broken a lot of bones on people. Ask uh, Phil from Armored Saint. How many instruments can I play? Well, uh, guitar, bass, a little bit of drums, a little bit of piano, harmonica, the juice harp, I can hum, I can play a kazoo. You know, I don't tell Dave what to do, and you shouldn't either. Should Testament be in the big four? No. I think uh, Exodus should be in the big five. Exodus was around before uh, Testament was in my mind. Great band, though. Har, Monica, not hum. No, that was Kiko playing the piano. He's amazing. <laughs> Can I break your neck? <laughs> I, I definitely could if I wanted to, but uh, I don't want to. Yeah, we actually have a whole bunch of new Megadeth guitars coming out um, next year. I was talking with the guys at uh, Dean, and uh, pretty excited about what's going on with them. Got some new colors, new woods, and uh, actually we're going to be doing a new shape pretty soon. <clears throat> I missed my turn. No, I didn't. Why did I cut off my Jackson endorsement? Well, because I was their number one endorser besides Randy Rhodes and they weren't paying me and I figured if I'm carrying the company on my back and you're not compensating me, then you can go fuck yourself. I'm not into Pokemon. I wasn't into Pokemon when Justice was a kid and we had to go get those stupid cards everywhere. Uh, you know, believe it or not, I actually played a... Uh, <clears throat> I played an Explorer an Ibanez Explorer when I first uh, joined Metallica. I had that. There's pictures of me with those guys. Of course, James was just singing at the time, so he just had a mic stand and I had my guitar. And, um, yeah, it was a Destroyer. Cool name, huh? Destroyer. James doesn't suck. Please don't say that. He's my friend and it just makes you look really intolerant. You know he doesn't suck. He's probably way better than you are. 
I like Randy Rudge too, a lot. Amazing guitar player. Please guys, stop saying stuff about Metallica. You're gonna start being stupid, I'm gonna go. Time to start blocking some people. Yeah, I think you can be born with an old soul. Thanks, Vic. See you later, bro. <clears throat> There's no way that guy's as good as James is. So, see you later, bro. Get his back. Green grass and hot times forever. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. People can do whatever they want. If they're going to be dumb, then it's okay. It's a good thing about Periscope and Twitter is you can get rid of these guys. <laughs> I thought Hollywood vampires were pretty lame myself. I'm sorry to say that. I don't mean to offend your tongue. But uh, when Johnny Depp is inebriated everywhere he goes, that's really bad for him. Seagulls. Seagulls here, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't play Pokemon. I got better things to do with my life. My favorite ACDC song, that's hard to say, but it's definitely the Bond era. You know, I don't think you can change the voice of a band and expect it to still be the same. Prowler's pretty cool too, yeah. I'm a little worried about being right here because there's so many fish hooks on the ground from people fishing. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, I have insomnia so I don't wake up uh, like normal people. Peaky Blinders, that's a good show, man. I love that show. That main character's eyes are just amazing, penetrating blue. It's very peaceful here. It's not going to be like this in a couple days once I'm out on tour again. I did find my luggage. Yeah, it's beautiful here. This would be cool to do wakeboarding in here. No, it's a harbor. <laughs> I thought Hell on Wheels got kind of lame. It's funny, all these shows that I like, they, they go through a period where they're really good and then they just start to suck. Another one of my shows I really like is sucking right now very bad and I, I'm not gonna say anything, but uh, probably gonna bail. You know, I think this is what happens when the star becomes uh, 
really self-important and starts writing stuff and and they have to yield to the star because they're the star of the show. I think in Hell on Wheels when Anson Mount started producing the show it lost its coolness. I mean I loved him as an actor in the first couple seasons especially when Common was in there. Common was a great actor. I was so impressed. Yeah, well, again, um, don't really care about political affiliation. For me, I voted Republican, I voted Democrat, I am an independent, and I like keeping it that way. This year, I'm probably just going to write in Vic. Vic for president, that's what I say. All right, y'all. Um, love you. I'm gonna go. My caffeine level is nearing the E on my coffee gauge. So, gonna blast off and head back to the house we're staying at. So, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Thank you so much for being part of my life. You guys are really, really a fun part of my day getting to talk with you. Just. If I may make a suggestion, if there's somebody that you need to make things right with today, do it. Do it before something bad happens. It's always great to have your side of the street clean. If not just for the spiritual aspect, you can always sit back and say, my side of the street's clean and yours isn't. Love you guys. Be good.